Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Pokemon 8-Bit Bros. So, Link with Fana. Hello. Uh, and I guess we need to do a team recap. Yeah. Complete with the new Pokemon. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, starting things off, the we have Hardball. The Dream Form Shift Tree, it is Grass Water, it has the Storm Drain ability with Leech Seed, Energy Ball, Giga Drain, and Scald. You just cut out, so I think you're done, because yeah. I think you're done. Uh, I have Lawnmower, the Dream Form Floatzel, with the Sepsi ability, the Leech Seed, 5% Smash, Giga Drain, and Sleep Powder. Let's see. No, I will wait with Dixie. <gasps> Candy Flush. Candy Flush <laughs> with the, the <laughs> Dream Form Lupani. With the Pixelate ability, Power Punch, uh, Facade, Quick Attack, and Baton Pass. And that is linked to Flappy, the Aromatease with the Healer ability, Nose Charge, Beam Draining, Kiss, Moon Blast, and Calm Mind. Uh, up next we have Boom Boom, the Dream Form Explode. It is Dark Fire with the Flash Fire ability, and it knows Crunch, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, and Fire Fang. And look at my Dixie. It is a normal Infernape with the Blaze ability, like a normal Infernape with Close Combat, Flame Wheel, Faint, and Torment. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's see. What do we have? We have four. My uh, Dream Foam Greninja with Shadow Attack ability with Covered, covered it's called Water Shuriken and Omni Swint. And that is linked to Skippy the Swampert with the Swift Swim ability. It knows Muddy Water, Mud Shot, Stone Shove, and 5% Smash. Uh, we have Pixie, the Shiny Gotharita. It has the Competitive ability with Charge Beam, Psy Shock, Fake Tears, and Psy Beam. And this is a Bonk, and Bonk is a Dream from Rimpados with the Rocket Ability, Meteor Mash, Stone Shove, Psychic Fangs, and Cosmic Power. Yay! And this is Mascot Raichu. Normal Raichu, like all other Raichus, with a Static Ability, Discharge, Aerosphere, a Nasty Plot, and Nuzzle. Uh, and that is linked to Sparky the Luxray. It's not a Dream Form, but it does have a Dark Type, and it has the Intimidate Ability, and knows Tackle, Bite, Forest Sphere, and Thunder Fang. Oh. Alright, now I think I'm gonna lead with a boom boom in this next area. Yeah, this is steel type area, yeah. Well, we don't know what the uh, trainers are gonna have, but. I think I will have mascot still in the front. Yay. Oh, uh. What is this music, music by the way? Oh jeez, um... I don't know... offhand. Can't recognize it immediately. Hmm. Seeing any pings of items. I will just face this guy to see what he has. Okay. I'll wait to see what he has. Clang. Okay, yep, no, nope. I'm leading with Boom Boom still. I'm leading with Mascot. Because Mascot is a pure electric type, and Clang normally doesn't have anything but electric and normal and steel moves. So I think it's a good lead. I should probably go for an Aerosphere. Yeah, be better. I'm just gonna burn it to death. Gear grind. That's re that is really what hers, uh, holds Kling Clang back. It's the lack of good uh, coverage. Yeah. Oh, boom boom. It has some amazing setup moves and shift gear. A gear shift, I think. Skippy is 43. Flappy is Pokemon <laughs> Jeez. Palucha. Ooh, that's a fighting flying type. Yeah. I'll stay in. It does have a lot of attack stat, a high attack stat. Right. I am so gonna be aware switch of that. to... Skippy. 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 Skipp
Yippee. I killed it. I don't really have anyone good to face it with. 42. Like, I would prefer to face it with Sparky, just because of flying type and electric, but the fighting type kills that with the dark typing. And it's a fast fighting type as well. Uh, so it well, will outspeed you, I guess. No, it used 5% smash. Oh, that's not a very good move. It's okay, I'm using Stone Shove, so... Yeah, it's normal effective. Yeah. Yeah, it's so-so. Let me see what Muddy Water does. Uh, yeah, okay, I was about to say, don't use much yet, but it's uh, Muddy Water. It should be a, be a bit more, because you have stab on that one. Yep. Alright. This stinks? No, your team stinks. Oh, there's an item. It's above us, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be up here. Uh, That's not a trainer, I guess. I don't think he would come down to the stairs. Oh, uh, that's not that's a trainer. Not a trainer. <clears throat> Do you have an item for me? No. Where is this thing? Is it in the grass somewhere? Oh. 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 Where is this thing? Ooh! That's yeah, cool. Carbank? What type is Carbank? I mean, you know Carbank, come on. It's uh, it's normally a, a rock fairy, but I don't think it is in this case. Because it doesn't look like a Carbank. I don't know. I'm just gonna run. I know I used it in Pixelmon. Did you? Yeah. It was one of my two trick on uh, one of my free trick room setters. Oh, it okay. also had uh, light, light uh, screen and reflect. One of this is a trainer. I think actually I think it will lead with bonk. It looks like another fairy girl. It is. A Fairy type, I guess. Let's see what you have. You have one Pokemon. That's not good. Sylvian. Okay. Okay. I think I will stay in. Sylvian. <coughs> uh. I missed. Okay. Wish. Okay. What level is it? Level thirty-five, I think. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now I hit it. I was gonna lead a flappy. Oh, I one shot it. It was easy. I also did get a crit, so that might have something to do with it. <laughs> that and your 141 attack stat. <laughs> and super effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good idea when you're facing, facing a Sylveon to not go with a special attacker, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Should I have said that before? Yeah. Does it know <laughs> special attack moves? Uh, yeah, that's normally what it uses. Um, it doesn't have anything that hits you super effective. In the normal games, at least. Uh, but it has a 130 special attack. No special defense. So it has a very high special defense. And also a very good HP on top of that. Well, I'm just gonna sit here and calm my oh. out of it. Oh my god, hello. Was that a trap? No, it is a charm. It's a trap you need to do a ah, barrel fuck. roll. Oh yeah, this is an easy matchup. Calm mind stands. Probably has intimidate, no, it doesn't. Knock off. Mm, I died. Alright, No! Well. It one-shot me. And it's so much... Okay, Bonk is dead. 
Well, after this, these fights, we need to run back to town again. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> uh, that's bullshit. Also because Armbok doesn't have a lot of attack and... Yeah. I think Mascot is the best one I have for this. Oh, I'm having terrible luck. Oh, now it makes sense. Oh, wow. Okay. Now it makes a bit more sense. I was confused because Arbok isn't supposed to be so fast or so uh, offensive. Now it makes sense. Okay. Everything's coming together here. There's the Arbok. Yeah. It probably has much crunch, okay. I can take a crunch. Yeah, oh. yeah I was very confused because knockoff on an Arbok doesn't have stab, doesn't have anything. But yeah, I see why it would be a matchup that I wouldn't normally do. <laughs> oh man. Shapito. That was bonk. But hey, that was the one you said that you didn't mind me losing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually did you a favor. Well. <laughs> let's not go that far. I did a good thing. You did a thing. A good thing. <laughs> I mean, you did a good thing in adding plus one to your death counter, so mine doesn't look quite as bad No, anymore. no, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> the game cheated me. It lied to me. It uh -huh. said it was an Arbok, but it wasn't. I'm gonna use a super repel to get through this cave without hopefully encountering any Pokemon. I'm just going to Dixie and just hope for the best. No, Pixie's dead. Dixie. <laughs> you, you just killed Pixie. Oh, I wanted the, the D, you know. The D. The Dixie. Look at that one. Hey. I have you. Yeah. I probably uh, need to face something else. No. I have star piece. Okay, I yeah, hope that I'm such... not going to face something now. It's such a long Your... run back. Yeah. Nail. Nope, star piece. Nice. I, I'm s okay. I mean, I'm glad. Now, <clears throat> we need to like put our heads together to see who we want to put on our team. And I'm actually going to say that you could probably use a poison type um, to have something against fairies because you seem to have a very big issue with fairies sometimes. Okay, you already do have a fire type, but. Uh, Oh, look at that ability. Strong jaw. Ooh. That is a, uh, if I recall, a 50% chance, 50% boost, boost to bite moves. Okay, it's not terrible. It just has a lot of weird moves. Well, it's also mild, so it has, you know, lower defense, but higher special attack. Yeah. I would just start out by actually moving this guy. 
Yup. And it's gonna be, I believe, uh, Pepe and, uh, Titanium? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I mean, I'm replacing a high attack Pokemon with another quite high attack Pokemon. Just one that's... I was gonna say both here, but not really. <laughs> or imagine if it turns into a, a steel... Uh, actually, both a steel dragon and a steel uh, flying type would be amazing. Well, I'll buy 10 rare candies. What level am I? 31. <laughs> Why 10? Why 10? Oh, you want to get it up to level 40 or something? Yeah, I'm just gonna level it to 40. So, which one should we sacrifice next? Pepe, none of them! <laughs> God! Uh, Pepe wants to learn Sludge. You're also going to evolve from this, and I'm going to evolve from this. Um, let's see. Yeah. We're gonna land defense. That's cool. We're gonna get rid of Iron acid. Defense. That's 65, yeah. Oh, also look at this move Metal Burst. Nice. You know what Metal Burst does? Doesn't it hit back with double? No, uh, it's basically when you hit you're hit by an attack, you do a uh, 150% back, oh, and it's it, only it activates from both uh, uh, physical and special attacks. Yeah, no, I know that. I just thought it was, it was times two, not times 1.5. It quite... is slightly weaker than the others, but you also take away the prediction part. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to learn Swift? No. I would say yes. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. That's Red Boy. That was dope. No. Dragon Claw. Oh, it's a steel dragon. Oh my god. Are you serious? Jeez. I think so. Wow! Oh my god. That's so good. I actually think I will take away Gyro Ball because I'm going to get fast now and... Here we go. Yeah. Pepe is oh, evolving. I have a Dragon Boy. I think it's a Dragon at least. Yeah, no, see it, why it, 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 showed you, it showed you it's typing. It's Steel Dragon. I wonder how good that typing is. Iron Head. That's also an amazing move. Alright. Typhlosion! Nice. I wonder what the ability is now. Outrage. That is, I think, a bit too risky. It's a 120 base power, but if there's a fairy type coming in and stuff like that, I don't have any control. I do not like that. Wow, that is a lot of special attack. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I actually think both of us are quite happy with the Pokemon we got, it seems. I'm yeah, there's just the there's one is. thing I need to do. I know acid spray is really good. Yes. Levitate. There's one thing I'm considering getting for him. Venoshock. I'm considering picking up Venoshock. Okay. Um, that is more damage if they are... Poisoned. 
Yeah. And do we have something to poison them with? Sludge. Oh, there's a 30% chance, yeah. Oh, there's a bomb. I'm actually going to check up on something. Because steel and... First I need to sell dragon. stuff. That's an interesting type. Sell the stardust. It's the same typing as the alga. Sell the stun piece. Oh my god. So basically, the Pokemon I just got has one weakness and two immunities. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine resistances. Oh my god. Oh. And it it is only two times weak to fighting. That's it. It's a little durable. And I have... Oh my god. I like this guy. And because he has Levitate, he will remove one of his weaknesses. He doesn't need new moves, he has perfect moves. Yeah, I don't have anything that this thing can learn that would be good. I just have a lot of physical moves that Typhlosion can learn. Does it learn Aeros Aerosphere? No. Okay. I mean, I could check up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy Venishock. I think I will learn Stone Shaft just to this Dixie. Instead of Torment. Okay, and I think I know it can harshly lower special defense, but I think I should get rid of Acid Spray. It is a 100% uh, chance of doing that, um, and it will basically just double your damage of your next special move, which I kind of like. Get First. rid of Clear Smog then? Oh, it's actually quite hard. As an armor's boost of defense, which is kind of useful, kind of useful for you. Sharply raises, yeah, it's two stages. Yeah. Exactly. Taunt. No. I'm gonna say Clear Smog. Just because Clear Smog would also get rid of Acid Spray. Debuff. Yeah. It would. Um, I think I've used Acid Spray once competitively, and I also used uh, Clear yeah. Smog once competitively. But not in the I same mean, it set. Would clear like setup. Different sets. One was a Tentacruel with Acid Spray, the other was a Macago with Clear Smog. And. I would be honest, that Tentacruel actually was able to do a quite a bit of damage with Acid Spray. I think it did like Acid Spray into Scald. Yeah, I got rid of Clear Smog. And we have yet another new Pokemon. So, I changed the Pokemon that had... Let me actually see here. Because now I'm curious. How much def how much weakness did uh, this big boy have? Here we go. The one I just switched out of had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weaknesses into one that has one. Hey, another heart scale. I'll take it. Got that. That was brutal though. And uh, Zoroark doesn't replace its typing with the Pokemon, it's impersonating nope. it. It just impersonates it. it. Yeah. It looks like... it just look like, uh, looks like a... what yeah. it looks like. That's, yeah. that's what I thought. Do I have anything else I can sell? No. And we'll look it. hell our way through the cave. Do you remember what gender you are, your fishy boy was in the rock? No. Was it? Okay. Just in case I find it. You ask that every time you go through that rock up there. Yeah, I, I don't want to meet something, so I'm hoping it's a male. <laughs> if I meet something. Okay, yoink. Be a boink, and don't show me something. Okay, you can show me that, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, 
That was right it's time there. Time for me to bash you. Yeah, he's right in that uh, ash thing. And he leads with a Zorar, which means I should just Five lead with Flappy. Flank. I should just lead with Flappy and Moonblast it. Yeah. It's going to scare you because it's Arbok. Yeah. No, I, I saw, think my I saw favorite your fight. Yeah. Uh, my favorite uh, Sorak ally is probably Weezing. Because Weezing is a tank and you expect a Will-O-Wisp. If it's suddenly a sweeper. Yeah. Send out Weezing Arbok. is basically an... That's a lie. You didn't send out an Arbok. I know better now. Thanks to Banner Sacrifice. Oh my god. And last. Hell yeah, I killed this thing. It used knockoff. It knocked off my leftovers. Zorak died. That's a lot of XP. Yeah. Now he's gonna send out Arbok. Now I switch to something else. Yeah. And by something else, I mean Skippy. I just remembered the move Gunk Shot. Which is, in a uh, this generation, has one of the weirdest uh, animations. Um, let's go mud shot. I think I will go titanium. Uh, I didn't do anything. That was a weak crunch. Come to think of it, I actually do want to check out the defense stats on uh, titanium. That was it with the fly gun. It was actually quite normal. In the original Pokemon, yeah, but it had really a very need, unique niche. You really need to evolve that. Which one? Titanium. Yeah, I mean that's going to be amazing, but uh, Flygun in the original games had an amazing niche in the form. I think it was immune to a few things. It was immune to electric and also had something else. I can't remember. Ground because it was flying. Yeah. So it was immune to spikes, I think. It was. Uh, it had something, and I can't remember. Even though its stats looks kind of weak. This is water, dar, Sharpedo. And in generation three, it had Sharpedo is water dog, yeah, and it's very fast and it's very squishy. Yeah, I'm just gonna send out a uh, hard ball. Giga drain it. Yeah, okay. It's not very tanky, that's for sure. Yeah, no, I figure it'll probably get the first hit in, and then I can just heal up with Giga Drain. Yeah, well, I was looking at or, Titanium, it's not very tanky. No, it's actually slower than Hardball, so it just died. <laughs> yeah, I think Shapito has like a 95 space speed. And yeah, not no, very that's, much. that's what I was saying, you need to evolve Titanium again, because the Drava is not very tanky at all. Like Polytoad. Oh, I switched into just the right thing. Alright, well, I will be leading with Hardball in that fight. Yeah. Now, Lawnmower, oh. could you learn a better grass move soon? On who? Lawnmower. Oh. What a physical grass move. Yeah, and it can't learn Leaf slice, slice for some reason. Oh, look! Spoink is back! Bye, Spoink. I'm not even gonna waste my time fighting you. I don't even know why it just didn't attack. God, go away, Spoink. I saw you enough on Route 1. Five percent smash on your dear Nummel. Something tells me you don't have a Nummel. Oh, no, no, it's just you, a Polytoad. You only have a Polytoad. That is nearly the polar opposite of a Nummel. <laughs> Ford wants to learn Hex. 
I will say no to Hex. Even though Hex is a good move, I will say no. Hex is a Oh, weird... maybe. Hex would be stab on him. Yeah, but... Yeah, I also do have... But I also do have Omnius Wind. I, but Hex, if it, if it has a status condition, it's 130 base power for 4 stab. Okay. That's if it's... Okay, I do have... Uh, I have possibility for both Float Soul uh, to put on a sleep or the mascot to put on paralysis, paralysis yeah. and burn from Scald. Yeah. So I just Hex is really good for your team. That's a big hit. That's a hundred and thirty base power plus I believe it's thirty from stab, so a hundred and sixty base power. That's really solid. Like that's stupidly powerful. That's why in the in uh, don't forget shadow attack. If it's yeah. less competitive. Well, no, that's why in Pixelmon Island I almost went hex hexgar. Hex oh Gengar. Hex Gengar, yeah. I almost oh, I almost had a mega story. Gengar with hex on my team. That's a because fire type. Hex is so stupidly good. Hmm. It's not a very common build, but it's really strong it's if you have a team built one. around it. I also do like the idea because Hex is in, in the D&D is a Warlock spell. And Ford is a Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even think of that? You're not wrong. <laughs> And no, Skippy does not need takedown at all. Get oh. out of here. Whoa! Oh yeah, okay. Sun, sun. I forgot about Sun. I was like, why didn't that kill? Yeah. Lappy is forty-two. Lappy wants to Misty terrain. Misty terrain is basically you prevent status conditions on all grounded creatures. Uh, no. I. I don't care about that. And I don't know if it does anything else. It may also... No, that's static. Electric terrain. That prevents sleep. And since you're still testing out all the teams for me, I'm just gonna switch to leading with Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in the lead now. B word? Okay. Blur that. Oh, did you get the double team TM? I don't plan to use it for anything. Oh, there's a trainer somewhere. Double team is a really abusable move. Yeah, I don't like it. It takes too much. I would rather have minimizers if we like that. Oh, I'd rather have double team. Give me a sack. I want your sack, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy water. <laughs> hit this turtle. <laughs> it missed. I got his sick. Okay. I'm so glad it missed. <laughs> That's awesome. I actually forgot one? to check if there are any items around here. That's okay, I've been wearing my... my bunny ears. There's an item somewhere. Yeah. Drought Torkoal is really good. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a huge part of the meta when it came out in Generation 7. Yeah, Torkoal got crud Drought. It's amazing. Yeah, I thought so. Hello, trainer boy. Asselgor. Are you a Sorak? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> You're paranoid now. Of course I am. I paralyzed this boy. Okay, now be paralyzed. No, struggle bug. No. We're not learning Hydro Pump. I, I would I take Scald over Hydro Pump any day. Yeah. I mean, of course it depends on the build. If it's a Nuga, the display oh, all out. On my head. Uh, no, on my rifle. Boom Boom wants to learn Fire Blast. 
Vicious Punch. No, I'm going to keep Flamethrower for Fire Blast. I'm one of those old school build... I, I have the old school build preference using the uh, accuracy over the power. Hmm. Two blade. Okay, I know who you sent out to that. Dixie, come here. What was that item? Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Um, you also need to grab his sack. Yeah. Oh, Sacred Sword. You have bad memories of that. <laughs> oh, wait, Sacred Sword. No one loves you. I like it. This old dude isn't a trainer, is he? No. Who are you fighting that? Uh, he's in the ash pile. Wait, you said there's a hidden item up here, right? Uh, no, it's below. It's below. It's in the first ash pile. The second ash pile is where the trainer is. And I think there's an item up here. Yeah. Is Hyper this thing? It's in the middle of the. Exactly in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Ah, nugget. That's nice. And what does this trainer lead with? Uh, I think. Oh no. Uh, Assault Gore. So it's a fast buck type. So. Yeah. Oh, um, hmm. Does it have a secondary typing? Nope. I guess Skippy then? It used Struggle Bug on me, so it's like, okay. Yeah, see, I, I don't want to send out Boom Boom for that, because it's part dark. Yeah, but it will just be normal effective at that point. Yeah, but I have I have Stone Shove on Skippy, so... Hmm. I can I can still hit him with a super effective move. Go away, my PC. And then I can switch to Boom Boom for the uh, the Doblade. So if I remember correctly, Ghost is not super effective against Dark, unless they mm. change that. Ghost is not super effective against Dark, no. Dark is super effective against Ghost. That's what I thought. And so I was like, unless they change something, which God only knows they uh, might have done. Uh, it is going to hit your super effective though. With what? A uh, sacred blade. Your old friend. Okay. Um... <laughs> it is not going to one shot you though. And I don't think so. It did like nothing to me, but it also hit me like no normal effective. Don't think you're in trouble. I think you could not one shot it maybe with flamethrower. I think you should be fine. Okay. I, I uh, need to think uh, about fine flamethrower. Flame I would say flamethrower. I, I totally don't think I, you will one shot it, but uh, I did. Okay, you one shot it. Fine. I I literally totally forgotten that you had said this thing in Sacred Sword. <laughs> yeah. God, I was going into just full blown panic mode. Sacred Sword would suddenly be like le le your least favorite move. Move <laughs> All sucks. Time. It's terrible. Nothing about Sacred Sword is a good move. It's just the worst thing in the world. No Pokemon should ever learn it. Oh! What's this? Hello, dude. Follow me. Oh no. That's a house. I <laughs> like if these, uh, they take your ears on and, uh, cutscene. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, bloop, bloop. Oh yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> Move. Uh, get out the way. <laughs> Alright. What if you have your bike on? I'm actually curious. 
in the cutscene? Would you just go on your bike then? Oh, I have no idea. I, I've already started it. Yo, Silent, you won't believe this. Follow me. <laughs> so you know how Team Sub Noodle were headed to Mount Chimney. A few of them took this town's professor and left the Meteor Falls. Your friend here heard my cries for help. Professor Cosmo was researching a meteorite that is believed to be linked to the origin of dream forms. Those panda thugs heard about it and came bursting in, threatening to hurt him if he didn't go with them. Silent, normally I wouldn't ask for your help, but I can't do this alone. Go try, please. We were both on our way to Meteor Falls anyways, so could you help me take those guys down? I definitely wasn't on my way to Meteor Falls, but okay. Look at this. Think of it as paying me back for wiping my team back at Route 110. Get good, scrub! Cool. I like that. Uh, ability Capsule? Yeah. Ability Capsule and Lucky Egg. But yeah, I wanted to see if there's any of my Pokemon that can learn some cool moves. One more, what can you do? Ice Fang, Absorb, Crunch, Thunder Fang, Razor Leaf, Leaf Generator, Aggressive Terrain. Yo, Ice Fang is dope. Yeah, but I... Yeah, you're right. It's actually quite I, yeah. dope, Ice Fang instead of Leech Seed. Ice Fang and Crunch are both really good coverage. I think I have a good Dark Type. No, I do not. You have the Dark Types. Yeah. But I need sleep powder. I want to have sleep powder, that's for sure. But yeah, I think Ice Fang is probably a good thing to have. What can Skippy relearn? Hammer Arm? Yeah. That's cool. I have Thunderbolt. That's cool. Ooh. But I think I will prefer to just keep what I already have. I think I'm gonna keep what I already have, but I'm gonna remember that hammer arm is here for later. Because later on I will unlearn five after we make it to if Skippy is alive when we make the Elite Four, I'll un yeah, okay. I'll unlearn five percent smash and learn hammer arm. Night slash. No, there's nothing cool here. What about Sparky? Electrical terrain? Uh, yeah. That's that was the, other yeah. garbage. What about you? Fire Punch, Ice Punch, F Detroit Smash. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Spartan Kick. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> a lot of stuff just happened. Um, I'm intrigued. Wow. Um, That's a lot of stuff. Jesus, Candy Floss. <laughs> okay. Spartan Kick. I think Detroit Smash is a obvious winner, first of all. Your and Pokemon I think Pokemon digs a giant well behind the enemy and boots on the f right in. <laughs> I think I will just remove Baton Pass. <laughs> but oh Holy my god. That was a lot of new stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, there's nothing good in there. I will also take a look at Dixie. I don't think Dixie has anything cool. Flare Blitz. No. <laughs> Mock punch. Mock punch. Ooh. I already do have faint punishment. No. Mock, it is a cool mock move, punch but is really tempting. Yeah, but I already have faint, which is like also a good move it's because it also hits through protect. And Faint also has a, I think, plus 3 priority or something like that, Wait. instead of plus 2. What?! 
Boom Burst is apparently a <laughs> fire side move this time. That's cool. Yes, please? It even fits the naming! Boom Boom is gonna loom, learn Boom Burn! Uh, oh, it's Boom Burn, I thought it was Boom Burst. No! Like the normal... Wow! Yes, by Flamethrower. Huh, do I want a 15 PP 90 power 100 accuracy special fire move? Or a 10 PP 100 accuracy 140 power fire move? I think that's a no-brainer. <laughs> we are basically going shopping right now. Yeah, right? Shopping with Just... hard scales. I have such a high speed, so I don't need priority. To be fair, Boom Boom could also learn Ice Fang and or Thunder Fang, but... Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily needs the extra coverage. Okay, and I think I want God. one more. What can Flappy learn? Anything? No. I've decided that I actually didn't want Ice Fang. I would probably go with <laughs> Crunch instead. <laughs> So now, suddenly, Candy Flush is a bit more than just a fighting fairy type. Yeah. It is now a My Hero Academia. <laughs> <laughs> what can Pepe learn? <laughs> Sludge Wave? Oh, that's a good move. Dark Pulse is also very good for that special attack. Uh, Toxic is nice as well. Uh... For stall. If you the have acid armor, what else? What if you go down the list just to check if there's anything else? Oh, that's it. Okay. So Sludge Wave is going to immediately replace Sludge because it's just a better but, version of Sludge. But it only has a 10% uh, poison rate. Hmm. I don't know what... The Twitch mush. <sighs> Sludge is what power? Uh, 90. So it's 95 and 90 if I recall. Sludge is only 65. I'd be boosted Whoa, okay. So then it was suddenly nerfed. Because it's way stronger than normal games. I almost feel so, like yeah. I should get Sludge Wave. Yeah. With that special attack, I think being burst damage is better than my maybe uh, poisoning and then getting more damage with a Venom Shock because hey. Or I could get rid of. Should I get rid of Acid Spray for Dark Pulse? I would let the decision because it's two different playstyles of it. Where it, it it gets access to one thing but loses access to another thing. So both of them are viable in a way. Uh I would probably remove Sludge and Venoshock personally. Yeah, to be fair, Venoshock is a TM, so I can I can relearn it. Yeah. Whenever. Or you could go for Toxic instead. Because That's... Toxic cannot miss when it's used from a poison type. Um, yeah. But then I would not go with Acid Spray if that was your idea. Um, I think I might replace Acid Spray and Sludge with Sludge Wave and... Well, no. No. No, 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 no. Go 
go for Toxic over Sludge. Because worst, worst case scenario, later on we can just farm rocks to relearn moves with hard scales. Yeah. We can easily get new hard scales, so... Yeah. Get rid of Sludge for Toxic. And then get rid of Acid Spray for Dark Pulse. Yeah, hard scale is the same price as a rare candy. You look like you have something to hide. No, just brag about your nugget one. So. Yeah, this might not be the ideal build for Pepe to have, but I think it'll be the much more entertaining build for Pepe to have. I mean, yeah, Pepe is kind of toxic. Okay. Wait. What's going on? Something is happening to your screen. Oh. There we go. Oh, I got the dick. Remind me, what does stench do? Uh, stench makes it harder for um, uh, for uh, encounters to happen if it's in the lead of your party. So it's kind of like a repel, a weak repel, basically. Oh, no. And I don't know if it's the generation where it happens, but it also has a 10% crit... Uh, chance to flinch a target when you hit it. Uh -huh. But I don't know if it's this generation. I'll have to look it up later, because I was just checking what type of lotion's other potential ability is. And it's other potential okay. ability is stench. Would you look at... Uh, oh, which one should I take? Uh, Floatzel. Uh, grass pelt or sap sipper. Okay, I need sap sipper then. What else do I have? Um, let me see. I know Boom Boom has flash fire. Could have defiant. I'm considering getting it for mascot to have lightning rod instead of uh, static. Uh, shift tree could have swift swim, but that's not as interesting. If I recall, this guy is the one that gives you raw normally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, what's the item down here? Oh yeah. Yeah, you you went past it. It's probably in the crater, I guess. Yeah. Nugget. Oh, nice. Let's go sell that. I would just keep it for now. No point. I'm just too lazy to go sell it right now. I also have two of them to sell, so... Oh, is it my... It's your turn to go down here and get something something to catch. Yes. Um... Potions. But I think we need to fight some trainers first. No, wait. They don't care about fighting, they just want to fish. Uh, how much health do your team have? Yeah, I think some hyper potion, one or two maybe. Yeah. Could be kind of good. No. He's gonna pick up I six hyper potions. <gasps> Free money! 
Oh my god! Alright, let me come on over there and I will get my encounter. I also want to just see here. I think I'm good. You want to dig? Yeah, dig is not really a good move in a way. Who gives dig? Uh, the boy in the, in the house you just passed. I mean, I'll get it. It's better than it used to be. I'm actually considering getting. Uh, Excuse me. His dig used to be only sixty power, right? Uh, no, it's it's eighty power. Well, I know it is now. I'm pretty sure it used to be sixty. Oh. I mean, they did Maybe. they did buff it. It's not a bad. It's no earthquake. But... Let's see. Here. I'm actually considering putting raw on uh, on Dixie. Come on. Back to zero FPS. Nice frame you got there, bro. Alright. Uh, who do I lead with? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna lead with Sparky for the tackle hit. <laughs> Cause I think it still knows tackle. If not, you have charge beam. Uh, it knows tackle. And you said there was a free money over here? Yeah. I think it's a bug type we're going to face. It sounded like a bug nice. Uh, but I may be extremely wrong about that. We'll have to see. I, I, again, I don't know. Or that or rock type. Alright. Oh, that's the same thing. You get so many. You can get so many starters on your team. It's rock. Yeah, I think I think it's I and maybe ice as well. Oh, look at that. That's an ice type. Ice steel, if I recall. Is Crokinaw gonna have a ground type move? Um, I don't think so. I think it's rock. I think it's rock type. I think it might have a ground type move, so... I'm gonna go into Flappy and I'm gonna use Draining Kiss. Wait, why am I fighting this? I need to, to make sure it's the right gender. Give me a second. <laughs> what is your gender as yours? Male. Male? Okay, I, I need to catch this then. I'm using my weakest move. Faint. <laughs> That's weak. Ice punch. And okay, I would say try not to use that again because that's the goal. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna chuck a grape ball at it. Yeah, it is an ice and steel type, this one, which I'm pretty sure is a horrible typing. <laughs> ah, got triple jiggle. Let's see how good the ice steel type is. Whoops, no, no. Three weaknesses, no. okay, that's not actually too bad. No, wait, that's some rumors. Okay, three weaknesses. Three. 
Come on, Krokinoff. Get caught. Go out, book on a hero character. Oh, I was hoping you would use ice type moves now. Sad boy. Dizzy punch. I'm going first. Okay. What? Oh, a critical hit. <gasps> Candy Flush nearly died at that oh point. Oh my god! Get the f out of there! I think I want to stay in. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I was also like, yeah, okay, I'm getting a cr as long as I do not get a critical hit, I should be fine. Oh, come on. Another critical hit. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it has good moves, this one. Crokinaw seems to have a good move pool. Uh, power gem oh. isn't ground, is it? It's rock. Uh, rock. It's rock. It's a special rock. Okay. Move. Um. We'll try one more great ball. Jesus. I think I know the exact name I want. I'm still trying to catch this thing, so hold on. I'm gonna send Sparky back out. I believe I've seen its entire move set and it doesn't have a ground move. Glacier? Yeah. It's an ice steel type and it moves slow. That did nothing to me. Like I already know what I'm gonna nickname this thing. I just need Annoying. to. I just need to catch it first. This <laughs> 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 is spamming crunch. It literally does six damage to me. I want to take a look at this guy. Oh, look at that ability filter. It's amazing. Reduces super effective attacks, uh, the base power, the damage. That's cool. Oh, God. That's actually not bad. I like it. Except it's modest, which is kind of ugh. Is there a way for you to like put a status condition on it? No. Like any kind of st okay. It can take another one of those, right? Oh, I don't think so. I would do that. We're doing that. Oh no. <sighs> when the game saved you. <laughs> game didn't save me. Fine. Okay. Was it was just expecting a crit. <laughs> no, that's just my luck that makes you think that. <laughs> Gotta burn so many great balls on this thing. Come on. One. No. It just doesn't want to be owned by you. Yeah, I was having better luck when it was. Freaking in the green, I was getting triple jiggles. Um, 
No. How many great balls do you have? Five. Five? Okay. Do you have Pokeballs? You, I think. Jesus. Oh. Come on. I'm gonna heal now. Actually. No, I'm just gonna switch to Flappy. Hmm. Come on. Have a repeat ball and nine pokeballs. It's gonna chuck the repeat ball. Where did you get a repeat ball? By going back through the cave. Oh. You talk to the scientist at the back of the cave where you get uh, the Agronite. I realized there was a repeat ball there. Which you know the one, you know the one where you thought ball. you got a. You know the one where you thought you got strength? Yeah. Yeah, you just you go through that cave and on the oh. on the uh, Rustboro side, there's a, the scientist that you rescue, and he gives you a repeat ball. Okay. I'm actually curious, do I have a repeat ball? <laughs> I don't think you went all the way through the cave, did you? God, no. Nope. It really doesn't want to be caught. I'm gonna use every damn. Pokeball I have on this thing. Pokemon is awesome. Plus, I have a perfect name for it, so I want to catch it. Come on! Yes. Okay, so just didn't want to be caught in a in a great ball. Yeah. The Pokeballs are fine. Pokeballs fine. The Grey Ball is just gonna burn through my entire inventory of them. Oh my gosh. If you're going to call it Ninja. Huh? It's just a stream and it didn't have blue hair or something like that. Oh, I'm not calling I'm it Ninja. ninja. I, I'm not, I don't watch him. Neither do so I. I'm not sure. Dylan? Who's. Wait, who's Dylan? Uh, United Gamer. Okay. He is a Pokemon YouTuber who's really, really good friends with Luke, who also happens to love the evolution line. Actually, the only YouTube channel that I'm actually a YouTube member for... How are we doing on time? Uh, we are done. <laughs> <laughs> After I go buy more Great Balls. Because I don't want to forget to buy Great Balls. But I also want to look at... what my new Pokemon has. What Reckless. I personally do not like Reckless. But Kirk is fine. Okay, Nino's, yeah, Rock Team, Ice Fang, Conchin, Power Gem. Neat! Reckless isn't particularly great. Uh, yeah. Let me double check something here. In case I need to bring him on the team. Huh, can learn Rock Head. Nice. Then can learn Head Smash. <laughs> nice. At level 60. Or if I evolve it, it can learn Head Smash at level 71. <laughs> and then for... Okay, so that area, I guess, is just Ice Types. Because okay. we both got an Ice Type from there. Yeah. No, it's, it is... We were never sure what it was. It is Rock Ice. 
and it can learn what is freeze shock. That is not a move that is normally in the game. Okay, well, it, for alligator learns it at 76, so... <laughs> what did you say it was? Freeze something? Freeze shock. <laughs> Freeze frost, freeze. Oh, freeze shock is a move. Okay. What's it do? What is? It? Wait, what generation is? It's a, it's the curum curum move. That's why I don't know. Signature curum move. And uh, it has it deals damage. Has a thirty percent chance of paralyzing the target. What's its power accuracy? Uh, it's a one hundred forty power uh, ninety. Uh, accuracy, but it takes two uh, two turns, it seems. Uh, okay, that's math. Yeah. Buy more great balls, get a premier ball, and we're gonna buy ten ultra balls because we can buy ultra balls now. If I decide to use uh, Glacier, it would be three times weak to fighting, uh, 1.5 weak to ground, and uh, three, point, uh, three times weak to fire. Okay. Because of filter that which reduces those. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we are going to wrap things up here. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. If you're not already subscribed. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, it really does help us out a bunch. Uh, if you want to know any more of this series and my other similar series, come out, uh, hit the notification bell, YouTube will tell you when they're released. Uh, I forgot to do this in our last two recordings, but folks, make sure you check out the description below. Uh, this version was custom made by Game Boy Luke's community specifically for him. Uh, there is a link to his YouTube channel down below. There is also a link to Hyper Potion's YouTube channel. He did the intro music for this game and for Game Boy Luke's channel. Uh, it's also the song we're using as the uh, intro music for this series. Um, there is also a link to the used to be the uh, 8 Bit Bros uh, version Discord. Um, I still have to update the previous episodes at the time of this recording. It should be done when this goes live. But there is a link to the Team Subit Discord uh, down in the description. Uh, they are the group that made this entire game possible. So definitely check them out. They have a ton of really, really cool custom versions that are with all types of custom Pokemon. Custom Pokemon that aren't even Dream Forms in them. Just, they've done a ton of really cool stuff, so make sure you check them out. But folks, hopefully you did enjoy. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Peace.